What is happening, Adventure Nation? This is gonna be kind of part two of the video that we finished previous. We had something that was way too long and wound up being a 40 minute video, so we had to break it out into two sections. This is the second part of the video, and this is the motorhome experiment. Good morning, everybody. Yesterday we decided to do some work and it was a beautiful sunshiny day out and today we're going to go bicycle riding. Ozzy, leave the camera alone. So yeah, kind of a miserable day out there today so we're going to get the bikes loaded up and head into Key West. Anybody can pick a perfectly beautiful day to, to go bike riding. It would only be Lorraine and I that would pick a day like today to go bike riding, but I don't think the heavy stuff's going to be coming down for quite some time. I think I stole that line from Caddyshack. And uh, by the looks of it here, it doesn't really look like it's going to clear up anytime soon. So it absolutely looks like a perfect day to go into Key West and go bike riding. You guys ready? Let's do this. Let's see if Lorena's ready. Ozzy's ready. Ooh. Are you ready to go, Lorena? Beautiful day for biking. Beautiful. Yeah, let's take advantage of this and go in and bicycle. Yesterday sunny. Yeah, yesterday we decided to stay Tomorrow, in the yeah, RV and work. Like, yeah, work day. Tomorrow we go out and explore. Yeah. And then this happens. And then it's pouring rain. From where we are here in Curry Hammock, it's about 55, 56 miles to Key West. Plus we have to go through Marathon, cross the seven mile bridge, and I'm gonna try and remain calm today. I'm gonna try not to complain about traffic. Do you believe that? You don't believe me. Before we get into Key West and do some biking, we're gonna stop at this coffee shop, grab some breakfast, and then we'll uh, get a video uploaded, we hope. coffee house uh, in Marathon. I don't know what key it is, but good stuff. It's allowing us to get a video uploaded, which is nice. Get out of the rain for a minute before we get to Key West. The uh, Cafe Con Leche is very good. It's like a half espresso, half milk. It's milk with one espresso. Alright. And, most important, getting a video uploaded for you guys so that's really cool great little place Wi-Fi rocks so if you get a chance when you're in Marathon to support Leanne's good stuff it seems to be a lot of locals not too many tourists a lot of locals here yeah it's kind of off the beaten path a little bit and they've got some good breakfast sandwiches well we'll let you know about breakfast sandwiches that's in just good. a minute but that looks really good in case you don't want to do breakfast they have craft beer and wines later on the day or maybe you want to do craft beer and wines for breakfast I don't know I think you can have I don't judge mimosas for breakfast mimosas yeah they don't allow you to drink beer for breakfast probably yeah probably as long as you pay <laughs> yeah oh and actually on the sign here it says coffee house by day wine bar by night so I stand corrected, Leanne's Coffee House is in the city of Key Colony Beach. But I think it's also Marathon, so, or part right, of yeah, part of Marathon. Don't be in a hurry when you go in there. For sure. They're not the fastest. Like anything in this island. Yeah, that's Islands. pretty much in the Keys, I guess, yes. that's. I need to take my own advice, is not be in a hurry, but. Brrr. It is 
is so cool. Yeah, we've eaten outside a couple of times here. Never been inside the restaurant. It's really cool. This is El Masson de Pepe. number one tour or thing to do in Key West based on TripAdvisor. Okay, now this wouldn't have been my first choice for things to do here in Key West, but TripAdvisor says it's number one, so I'm holding Lori plus, to the fire. Plus, Norfolk is canceled, so. Because I don't feel like there's any way I could get injured in this place, so that can't be any fun. <laughs> if I can't get bruised and bloodied, it's probably not going to be a good time. So, unless we get attacked by butterflies, Lori, I don't know. You never know. <laughs> you never know with us. I've been attacked by a pelican, so. <laughs> That's exactly what we're doing. Exciting our senses and expanding our minds. We're ready to go in. Close the door quickly. Okay, Lori, take us into the world of the butterflies. Thank you guys. Holy smokes. That's crazy. But then there is two blue. are blue chasing each other. Well, okay. I didn't expect this. I didn't expect them to be everywhere. So there is food or fruit and they're just standing there. Just the fruit. All right, I'm kind of geeking out right now because I didn't expect it to be quite this cool. But we're literally just inside the door and already there's hundreds of these things flying around your head, touching your head, and it's pretty amazing. I'm taking like 100 pictures that I'm never going to see again. I'm never going to use, but it's so cool just to be taking pictures of all of them. <laughs> by butterfly. Two flamingos are Rhett and Scarlet. They're Caribbean flamingos. They were born February 14th, 2012. So they were born on Valentine's Day. That's kind of weird. Check them out. Hello, I don't know if this is Rhett or Scarlet. I think this is Rhett. He's trying to get Scarlet's attention. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. So Bob here was just saying how this is quite the contrast from the drunken stupor that is Duval Street just outside the doors here. I have to agree with that. Okay, Lorena. I love riding Harley Davidson's. I love loud rock and roll. I never thought that I would like the Butterfly Conservatory. But this is pretty cool. I told him, I knew it was gonna be cool, but he was like, eh, Butterflies, and see, now he likes it. I figured that if I wasn't getting bumped and bruised, that I wouldn't have a good time, but like this, is kind, of, see, this guys, is kind of cool. See guys, guys, if it's not manly, they don't wanna do it, but inside, in their court, they enjoy this kind of stuff too. Yeah, but there's no motors in here, there's no, there's no wheels yeah, and tires and stuff, so I didn't still, think I'd enjoy it. You still it, enjoy this kind of stuff. I, it's pretty cool. This, this, I have to say, is pretty amazing. And once in a while, the butterfly will come and just ride. They buzz you and yeah. stuff. It's really pretty neat. Okay, you can see the blue ones flying around quite a bit, but this is what they look like when they're sitting still. They're not quite as pretty with the wings closed. Check this out.
What do you think you are, Lorena, the butterfly whisperer? <laughs> I am not. If I was, I will open my hand and they will just stand. And there is Paul feeling like a diva, trying to be the butterfly whisperer, I guess. Enjoying your stay, the butterfly conservator? I'm enjoying my stay, yes. Oh, look. Oh, 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 no. I thought that was going to land. Oh, there's, no. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, though. I think these are real. I'm not sure. That just looks too... What? Like my hand yeah. compared to that butterfly? That can't be real. Those have got those have yeah, got to be I fake. No, they're not. Those are real. That's crazy. No, they're real. Oh yeah, that's real. <laughs> We're in the mirror room here at the end of the butterfly conservatory. You're supposed to look at yourself. I don't think you're supposed to look at yourself like that, Lori. No. You're supposed to look at yourself in the mirror to see if you have butterflies on you, and then you can leave. No butterflies no on us, we can leave. No. When I first saw that flash mark, I said, there ain't no way that's there's real. No, I <laughs> said the same thing. I thought there's no there's way no way that, was real. that sure those, yeah, I thought there was no way those last ones were real. I thought those look fake. I decided to reattach my butterflies. What do you think? I could go dancing now. Yeah, ready for New Orleans. I'm ready for going back to New Orleans. We're at a red light and this here is mile marker zero on US one. <laughs> That's all we're gonna see of that I think because we're not gonna have time. <laughs> And that is the beginning of US-1. Are we going to get to the end of one during our trip? I don't know if we're going to get the end to the end of one. Yeah, because yeah, you guys said you're going all the way up the East Coast. Yeah, we are going all the way up the East Coast, so we, what, we just may. All right, we've ventured over to Fort Zachary here on Key West. Not allowed to ride the cannon, so you guys have to stay off the cannon. No riding the cannon. We're going to go in here and check out Fort Zachary. Some quick facts for you guys for Fort Taylor. bird's eye view of the fort. Oh wow, yeah. Beautiful view from up here. All right, this is something that I have to talk about because this is pretty cool. So they had a gun here called a 12 inch long range rifle. The guns weighed 117,000 pounds and they fired shells that could go 17 miles. The shells weighed 1,000 pounds. That is uh, pretty crazy. That's how far uh, the current carrier, I mean, the current battleships go. Isn't it amazing? 18 miles, yeah. That is unbelievable. You can shoot at you, you just can't see it. That's right. <laughs> We owe a couple of ratings here. The first one is the Butterfly Key West Butterfly Conservatory, and that was uh, normally how much to get in? Twelve bucks, I think. Twelve dollars. Bob here had his military discount, so it was nine bucks a person to get in. Mm -hmm. And I really had no expectations for the Butterfly Conservatory. I didn't he think was, I would like it. For the most part, dragged. I was into... kind of dragged in there, kicking and screaming. <laughs> But it turned out to be really 
pretty cool. Like, really one of my favorite things that we've done here in Key West, actually. It was, it was really cool. I, I don't like know how to, to describe have it. hundreds of butterflies, different colors just, like, flying around you all over the place, that's a place. Yeah, it, w it was pretty neat. Yeah. But, as we've said for most things here in Key West, I wouldn't day trip for anything here <laughs> because... It's just too hard to get to. But if you're in Key West, if you're here to visit, I would definitely say that you should go and see the Key West Butterfly Conservatory. Yes. So that would mean... Here, already in Key West or close to Key West is a must. Yeah. But if you are Miami, Homestead, just driving all the way down here just for that attraction, it will be now. It's more like if in the area, I guess. Yeah, it's just that's nuts to drive a day in there. But it's strong too. I mean, if you're strong here... Too go see it. it there's just no excuse not to go see the butterfly conservatory because it's really pretty cool your kids will love it uh if you're if you're an animal lover at all you like birds any of that kind of stuff absolutely incredible it was really fun if you go in there and you're not walking around with a smile on your face within a couple of minutes there's something wrong with you so go see the key west butterfly conservatory and at the end there's a beautiful shop and art gallery that annoys me because i can buy anything <laughs> yeah the the butterfly art was really really cool now fort zachary, zachary. is only a couple of bucks a person i like think 250, 250 a, person, a person something like that and you can bring in a car load where there's a, another price for a car load again because of our friend bob and cheryl here they uh, have military ids got us in for free but at two dollars and fifty cents uh, Fort Zachary. I don't think it's military price. I think it was a uh, state park. It's a state park, so he gets in with his military ID. So, yeah. I would say Fort Zachary again. Again, if you're in the area, you're looking for stuff to do. I, I would say it's a two. Uh, yeah, if it's you... very. I have to say, we have seen other forts in other areas. It's uh, very run down. It's not really. It's not as well restored as some restored. of the other forts we saw, like the one on yes, Dauphin Island. Dauphin Island was amazing. Yeah so much history that they have their galleries and all that here is not that way you can literally visit the entire fort yeah in just half take an a hour. quick walk through yeah, yeah just two minutes half an hour that's about it so if you're here you're just looking for something to do you could swing by and, and if you're into the whole military and and history of military then fort zachary is a good stop i'd say it's a it's a two now we are two days away from leaving this area and we really want to do the fort in dry tortugas that was in our agenda as a must like before we ever came here we wanted to do that but have you guys seen at the weather yeah the weather destroyed that for us it was we didn't reserve it in advance and we couldn't get on the regular catamaran that takes you out there it's mm -hmm. booked up for the next week solid we thought that at 175 bucks a person that wasn't going to happen we were wrong it's booked solid so yes. we were going to jump on a seaplane and do that at 330 bucks a pop yeah. we were going to do it just because we wanted to get out there and see the dry tortugas but it's rainy and nasty so it wasn't worth to pay the price of that just to go and see the fort because no snorkeling no. it's windy it's rainy uh, no good visibility in the water so yeah no. yeah not gonna happen but a nope. couple of great things that we did today it was a lot of fun and we are about to go do what was supposed to be a dinner sunset cruise i assume it's just going to be a pretty blah <laughs> harbor cruise we'll Here's have to the see thing. We came here to the kids to do water stuff and we have not done anything because all snorkeling and everything is canceled because of the wind of the last few weeks at this point. So I guess our harbor sunset cruise is going to have to do this time. Yeah, we'll see. Let's go do it. <laughs> These guys are waiting for us. They're waiting patiently. <laughs> They're talking at the camera. With this, with this butterfly. Your butterfly is getting warped, Bob. The rain is warping your butterfly. Okay, Lorena, our sunset cruise just got canceled. So, what are we gonna do now? See, that was one of our very few, if not almost the only, water activity we were gonna have while here, and it was canceled. We got blown out of the dry tortugas. No snorkeling. Because it's not so dry. No snorkeling. What's it, Louis? No snorkeling in Louis Key, Louis where Key. everyone told us we should go snorkeling. No snorkeling by a Honda. It was too windy. Too windy to snorkel by a Honda. No kayak. And we went yesterday to Curry Hammock to kayak because it was too windy. So the only thing we have left is we can go to the Garden of Eden, the uh, clothing optional bar. What do you think? Should we do that in video? Oh, they won't allow us to video there, so that won't work. 
How you relate with other activities to the Garden of To getting naked at the Garden of Eden? I just relate everything to getting naked. That's weird. <laughs> He's weird. So, yeah, no water sports for us in Key West. We snorkeled one day, but that's it. One day, like for 20 minutes, because you can see anything. So, I guess we're going to have to hang out on Duval Steep tonight, and you're going to have to uh, drink. So Lori and I decided that after the bar, instead of going home, we were going to ride bikes down to Vall Street. What are we doing, Lori? I don't know. This is like a suicide mission. A suicide mission, yeah. It is like a suicide mission. This is cool. There's nobody coming behind us. Oh, watch the water, hun. Heads up. No, what do you say? I'm like, I'm sorry, Doug. We have to pass you. It's like. Oh, I'm okay, you're in better shape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> I think Lori and I are going to be killed on Duval Street while riding our bicycles. All the drunken people. Oh. Within my top 10 things of like funnest things to do. <laughs> That's got to be the most brightly lit Walgreens I've ever seen. Oh! Oh! All the water coming out of that tree. How you doing, Lori? I'm good. Uh oh, uh -oh. You just, Lori's good going through a red light. Good red going light. through a red light. Lorena and I had our sunset cool cruise canceled, but we're not going to let that spoil our night. So we're out here at 10 o'clock at night, biking to Wall Street, and Lori's going to run over me because nope. she's had one too many. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But are you having fun? I'm having a blast. It's just so cool to do this at night. Isn't it awesome? Luckily, it's not busy, so. No. So we spent a little too much time goofing around on Duval Street last night and didn't close out the video. We were giggling like a couple of school children as we rode our bicycles around. Had a blast on Duval we did. last night. It was really, really fun. So if you ever get a chance to do that, highly suggest it. It was, it was fun. There's not that much traffic at night there, uh, especially mm -hmm. during the week, and it was, it was just fun. So we. Yeah, we just had a blast. So anyways, <laughs> this is where we're going to end this one. We appreciate you guys watching as always. If it's your first time here, we'd love if you subscribe to the channel, stay up to date on all of our travels, become part of our little community here. And it would be equally as cool if you liked the video. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again in the next one. Yep, what he said. Bye, guys. <laughs>